Strategic Environmental Assessment C, is a systematic decision support process, aiming to ensure that environmental and possibly other sustainability aspects are considered effectively in policy, plan and program making. In this context, following Fisher 2007, C may be seen as a structured, rigorous, participative, open and transparent environmental impact assessment EIA based process, applied particularly to plans and programs, prepared by public planning authorities and at times private bodies A participative, open and transparent, possibly non-EIA based process, applied in a more flexible manner to policies, prepared by public planning authorities and at times private bodies a flexible non-EIA-based process, applied to legislative proposals and other policies, plans and programs in political, cabinet decision-making, effective C works within a structured and tiered decision framework, aiming to support more effective and efficient decision-making for sustainable development and improved governance by providing for a substantive focus regarding questions, issues and alternatives to be considered in policy, plan and program PPP making. C is an evidence-based instrument, aiming to add scientific rigor to PPP making, by using suitable assessment methods and techniques. Ahmed and Sanchez Triana developed an approach to the design and implementation of public policies that follows a continuous process rather than as a discrete intervention. History The European Union Directive on Environmental Impact Assessments 85337th, EEC, known as the EIA Directive only applied to certain projects. This was seen as deficient as it only dealt with specific effects at the local level whereas many environmentally damaging decisions had already been made at a more strategic level for example the fact that new infrastructure may generate an increased demand for travel. The concept of strategic assessments originated from regional development, land use planning in the developed world. In 1981 the U.S. Housing and Urban Development Department published the Area Wide Impact Assessment Guidebook. In Europe the Convention on Environmental Impact Assessment in a transboundary context the so-called ESPO Convention laid the foundations for the introduction of C in 1991. In 2003, the ESPO Convention was supplemented by a Protocol on Strategic Environmental Assessment. The European Sea Directive 2001-42, EC required that all member states of the European Union should have ratified the directive into their own country's law by 21 July 2004. Countries of the EU started implementing the land use aspects of sea first, some took longer to adopt the directive than others, but the implementation of the directive can now be seen as completed. Many EU nations have a longer history of strong environmental appraisal including Denmark, the Netherlands, Finland and Sweden. The newer member states to the EU have hurried in implementing the directive. <laughs> <laughs> Relationship with environmental impact assessment For the most part, NC is conducted before a corresponding EIA is undertaken. This means that information on the environmental impact of a plan can cascade down through the tiers of decision making and can be used in an EIA at a later stage. This should reduce the amount of work that needs to be undertaken. A handover procedure is foreseen. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Aims and structure. The C directive only applies to plans and programs, not policies, although policies within plans are likely to be assessed and C can be applied to policies if needed and in the UK certainly, very often is. The structure of C under the directive is based on the following phases. Screening. Investigation of whether the plan or program falls under the C legislation. Scoping. Defining the boundaries of investigation, assessment and assumptions required. Documentation of the state of the environment. Effectively a baseline on which to base judgments. Determination of the likely environmental impacts. Usually in terms of direction of change rather than firm figures. Informing and consulting the public. Influencing. Decision taking. Based on the assessment and. 
monitoring of the effects of plans and programs after their implementation. The EU directive also includes other impacts besides the environmental, such as material assets and archaeological sites. In most Western European states, this has been broadened further to include economic and social aspects of sustainability. C should ensure that plans and programs take into consideration the environmental effects they cause. If those environmental effects are part of the overall decision taking it is called strategic impact assessment. Topic: In the European Union. C is a legally enforced assessment procedure required by Directive 2001/42 EC known as the C Directive. The C Directive aims at introducing systematic assessment of the environmental effects of strategic land use related plans and programs. It typically applies to regional and local, development, waste and transport plans, within the European Union. Some plans, such as finance and budget plans or civil defense plans, are exempt from the C Directive. It also only applies to plans that are required by law, which excludes national governments' plans and programs, as their plans are voluntary, whereas local and regional governments are usually required to prepare theirs. <laughs> United Kingdom C within the UK is complicated by different regulations, guidance and practice between England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. In particular the C legislation in Scotland and in Northern Ireland, which specifically refers to the regional development strategy contains an expectation that C will apply to strategies as well as plans and programmes. In the UK, C is inseparable from the term sustainability, and an C is expected to be carried out as part of a wider sustainability appraisal SA, which was already a requirement for many types of plan before the C directive and includes social, and economic factors in addition to environmental. Essentially an SA is intended to better inform decision makers on the sustainability aspects of the plan and ensure the full impact of the plan on sustainability is understood. The United Kingdom in its Strategy for Sustainable Development, A Better Quality of Life May 1999, explains sustainable development in terms of four objectives. These are Social progress which recognizes the needs of everyone Effective protection of the environment Prudent use of natural resources Maintenance of high and stable levels of economic growth and employment. These headline objectives are usually used and applied to local situations in order to assess the impact of the plan or program. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Internationally. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> The Pan-European Region. The Protocol on Strategic Environmental Assessment was negotiated by the member states of the UNECE in this instance Europe, Caucasus and Central Asia. It required ratification by 16 states to come into force, which it did in July 2010. It is now open to all UN member states. Besides its potentially broader geographical application global, the protocol differs from the corresponding European Union directive in its non-mandatory application to policies and legislation, not just plans and programs. The protocol also places a strong emphasis on the consideration of health, and there are other more subtle differences between the two instruments. <laughs> New Zealand. C in New Zealand is part of an integrated planning and assessment process and unlike the US is not used in the manner of environmental impact assessment. The Resource Management Act 1991 has, as a principal objective, the aim of sustainable management. C is increasingly being considered for transportation projects. The OECD DAC, C in Development Cooperation Development assistance is increasingly being provided through strategic level interventions, aimed to make aid more effective. C meets the need to ensure environmental considerations are taken into account in this new aid context. 
Applying C to development cooperation provides the environmental evidence to support more informed decision making, and to identify new opportunities by encouraging a systematic and thorough examination of development options. The OECD Development Assistance Committee Task Team on C has developed guidance on how to apply C to development cooperation. The document explains the benefits of using C in development cooperation and sets out key steps for its application, based on recent experiences. See also Environmental Impact Assessment Hydropower Sustainability Assessment Protocol Millennium Ecosystem Assessment Strategic Environmental Assessment Denmark C. UN Habitat Guidelines for Strategic Environmental Assessment Strategic Environmental Assessment Good Practices Guide, Portugal <laughs>